Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Friday, April 23rd, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The models are in, and there is snow in the West through May. Hey, hey. Not only that, 70 million people under threat for severe weather. But the big story, snowfall records set in parts of upstate New York, and we could get a little more. Keep calm. It's boom time. Let's take a look at the quick record breakers in Syracuse. Snowfall records were set in some upstate New York cities on Wednesday, and there's more on the way. Buffalo had 3.1 inches Wednesday, breaking the April 21st record of 1.3 inches back in 1934. Al Gore's the city also picked up 1.7 inches on Tuesday. Rochester's 2.8 on Wednesday beat the April 21st record of 1.5 back in 78. Syracuse is still 50 inches below normal. However, sign of the times. Keep calm. It is boom time, and caution is urged as late season storm heads towards Tahoe. Oh, no. Spring snow blankets Oxford, Ohio, as predicted. And snow followed by sunny skies this weekend in Colorado. It, we got pummeled today, folks. Light snow for some in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And there is a one-two punch up in the north coming. We'll get to the models. Let's check the snowfall analysis for the last 48 hours. Hours of powers up in the northeast. Maine is the big winter chicken dinner. Eight inches through a huge swath in northern Maine. It's insane. Northern New Hampshire, northern Vermont, parts of upstate New York, all picking up large amounts of the spring global warming goodness, including big winter. I think there was a, can I get 24 inches there in Colorado? Holla! Snow in up, uh, western Montana, all the way up to the Canadian border. Like a horde or hailstorms moving into the southeast Texas as I bloviate, there was warnings at 7 p.m. They have ended for Polk County and Liberty, thankfully, but another system moving. Severe hailstorms rumbled through San Antonio, could hold together and possibly reach all the way to Highway 288 corridor late this evening. They should stay south of I-10, and they're watching them for you here on, well, ABC 13. So come check them out. If you're worried, 70 million people under threat of tornadoes. Holy macaroni. We have the current maps to keep you up to speed here. As the system moves east like a beast. Here is the, it even says that, severe sh risks shift east. Here is your Saturday's severe weather threat for the southeast. It goes from Birmingham to Pensacola all the way east from Savannah to Jacksonville. That is the bullseye for a severe weather threat, but don't be left out all the way from Raleigh down to or, uh, Tampa and all the way out to New Orleans. You could be in the crosshairs. All severe hazards appear possible, including large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. So heads up if you're in the southeast currently. An active weather weekend expected. An active weekend of weather is expected across the U.S. as severe thunderstorms are likely on Saturday in the south and southeast. These storms will contain large hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, and heavy rain with flooding. Meanwhile, a wet and inclement weekend is expected in the west, which is the best. Rain and mountain snow for, form a couple, from a couple of storms. <laughs> Finally, fire weather threats persist in the Four Corners region. If you're in the pink, you're in the wind. If you're in the yellow... And the red, well, could be dead in the shed. Keep a close eye on the skies. Let's check the snowfall forecast for the coming week. Here is your Saturday through your Sunday. Just some light flurries up there in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and as well as the west, nothing significant. But the mountains are going to be picking up some heavy snow here Sunday through their Monday, including the Sierras up to 16 inches of the Sierra cement. Some heavy snow uh, in central Nevada and much-needed moisture regions. And uh, in the northern Rockies of the U.S., we're going to be picking up some snow. And an event on Tuesday. Oh, my God, what just happened there? Everything shrunk down. An event uh, at the end of the weekend here in Colorado should bring much-needed moisture for us. And now it's just not working. So here it is. here's our Monday. It's actually Monday. Tuesday is our lose day in Colorado. And much needed moisture down in the Four Corners region in the southeast. It's looking quite nice, quite moist. This is the total precipitation potential. And you can see 
Arizona, New Mexico, even Southern California, picking up some much needed moisture during this drought condition. So good news for us, as predicted. Seismic update, big boomer kicking off here in Tonga at Blot Echo. And just prior to that, a 5.1 followed by a 6.4 still at Blot Echo Death, which means we could have another larger rumble above this in the next 12 to 24 hours. So keep a close eye on Tonga. We will. Now we're keeping a close eye on space weather as the most recent coronal hole, the southern coronal hole, just coupled with us here. We see the BZ shifting, the phi angle going back sun to earth here. Little plasma speed, uh, spike. Here's the density first and then the speed after. Let's just refresh this and see where the speed is. So rapidly going from 4 to 550 is going to create some perturbations. And then boom, there we have the geomagnetic storm, KP5. Now, the problem with this is that we have a coronal mass ejection from a sea flare headed our way. If you missed it, there was a long-duration sea flare 48 hours ago right here that produced a CME, and it's headed our way. Another sea flare just happening now, but multiple sea flares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 sea flares in two days. The sun is awake, and here we are on the ISWA streamer the signet streamer and there you can see that coronal mass ejection impacting us on the 25th just about 24 30 hours from now while we're already in geomagnetic storm at the current so those elevated levels may persist and it could get quite interesting this weekend we'll keep a close eye on it for you two men die from lightning blast after hiking up a volcano to see it erupt on the french island of la reunion and this is piton de la fonasse a volcano which has been erupting on point just like iceland this is a, a mid-ocean ridge or a rift valley fissure type eruption with basaltic flows not that dangerous but what we do know about the ionization around of uh, erupting volcanoes is that huge bolts of plasma tend to form there. And a little person walking on the surface makes a perfect lightning rod. And it seems to have happened with these two men, both in their 20s, had set out on a walking trip on the volcano, uh, both geologists or volcanologists, and they were found dead in the main caldera. So our prayers go up to those scientists doing an investigation for the greater good. Worldwide Volcano News Update. No volcanoes of note, including the ones we've had our eye on. semi sapochnoi puffing to 8,000. Nothing much happening over in St. Vincent. Update on the eruption in Fagradersfall. And here's a nice short update. I'm sure you'll like that. Now, short update here. No major changes have been seen this week in the eruption. However, major changes have been seen in the eruption geochemically. And we'll get to that. According to the last chemical analysis of the lava, the magma that's coming up is getting more primitive and from a deeper part of the mantle. This increases the chance that the eruption is going to go on for months, even years. Um, so there's that. Thickness of the lava in most places is just 16 meters. In Glendon Galdo Valley, the thickness is almost 50 meters and getting thicker as the eruption continues and the valley slowly fills up. Now let's look at the geochemistry quickly that's telling us from the start of the first now to the 30th day of the eruption that the ratio between K2O and titanium dioxide is shifting, which is showing a more primitive and deeper position of the lava coming from deeper and deeper in the earth, which is suggesting this could last well quite some time you heard it here first the composition of the glendon galdor lava is changing over time the erupted lavas are changing towards composition that indicate melting at greater mantle depths and lower degrees of partial melting hello long-term eruption we love you now nasa never a straight answer and the new urgency of climate change of course and wait till you read the gobbledygook coming from never a straight answer Climate change is changing. There has been a growing push by scientists, environmental advocates, 
and others to refer to Earth's changing climate as a climate crisis or even a climate emergency to better reflect the severity of the propaganda that they're pushing on the people. And it's disgusting. New U.S. climate normals are arriving soon. These are the propaganda talking points that will drive policymaking and bankrupt the world. It has even tilted the rotational axis of the earth. And it's your fault, you mother fluckers. All the while, actual scientists show people have shaped the Earth's ecology for 12,000 years and global warming never occurred. Just natural climate variability. The propaganda is so deep. You need waders. Yeah, you use those in fishing. Follow-up study finds a single dose of one drug can ease anxiety and depression for a nickel. That's five years in my terminology. As we are buried in the algorithm... Shut up, Al. I told you it's bedtime. He's not getting any bunt cake. It's almost 10. Now, the follow-up study finding a single dose of psilocybin, magic mushrooms, can ease anxiety and depression for five years, and it is peer-reviewed and clinically based. Enough said. Let's get to the meat of tonight's podcast that's just been a secret till now. Humongous flare from sun's nearest neighbor breaks records. Have you heard? I'm sure you have, many of you. Scientists have spotted the largest flare ever recorded from the sun's nearest neighbor star Proxima Centauri. Now, the research which appears yesterday in the Astrophysical Journal Letters was led by the University of Colorado Boulder, just north of here, and could help to shape the hunt for life beyond Earth's solar system, or perhaps even help us quantify when the galactic current sheet is going to hit Earth, if there in fact is one. Now, Proxima Centauri lies approximately 4.243 light years from Earth, and the super flare in question, well, that happened back in May of 2019. You picking up what I'm putting down? So, They pointed nine different instruments at the star for 40 hours over the course of several months of 2019. Those eyes included the Hubble Space Telescope, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA, and NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS. Five of them recorded the massive flare from Proxima Centauri, capturing the event as it produced a wide spectrum of radiation, form of cosmic rays, and other shit. Now, the event in question was observed on May 1st, 2019 and lasted seven seconds. And if we do the math and we subtract 4.234 light years from May 1st, 2019, that gives us May 1st, 2020, May 1st, 2021, May 1st, 2022, May 1st, 2023, plus 2.34 months, 2.34 2.34 years is May 1st is I'm sorry August of 2024 it's August of 2023 so August of 2023 or July July of August of 2023 could be our humongous flare event that's not a lot of time August 2023 could be the grid down solar flare the first one and that is my date i'm sticking with it summer 2023 is the day that's the time you need to be ready by summer 2023 based on science i won't say another word you come up with your own conclusion i just gave you all the little tidbits full pink supermoon when and how to see it over northbrook Well, it will be full, but it won't be pink. The reason they call it a pink supermoon is because of the creeping flocks, a pink flower that comes out at this time. No other reason. And supermoons in general are overrated and just based on a specificity that someone said. 
In fact, the term was coined in pre pre-internet in 1979 by astrologer Richard Knoll to describe new and full moons that occur when the orb is within 90% of perigee. In layman's terms, that's the closest approach to Earth in the elliptical orbit. The closeness to Earth. Keep in mind, our planet and moon are still 226,000 miles apart at this point. Makes the moon appear 30% brighter and 14% larger. Not quite super, but bigger. So the supermoon effect is an illusion or trick of the eyes. The moon can make for a slightly stronger tides. And they'll look super under the light of a silvery moon. But that happens with every full moon. Like a full moon boom. Now, the term caught on in the digital age, depending on how Null's de definition is interpreted, there are between two and four consecutive supermoons a year. And this pink supermoon is because of the pink creeping flocks that blooms at this time of year. A good friend of mine, Ransom Godwin, over at 420 Freedomist Films, has been demonetized and taken down from YouTube at least five times. And this is his newest channel, and people don't seem to be able to find it. Please come support. Please come support 420 Freedoms Films. I'll leave you a link below. I'm going to put it up in the description box, the first comment, and I'll be putting it over there in the chat. I can't even. Over here in the chat. <whistles> One other thing. I just got off the Skyper machine, the FaceTime talker, with the elusive Adapt 2030 David Dubine. And we are about to have an exclusive interview for you, which we will premiere tomorrow night. Imagine that. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian magnetic reversal grand solar minimum world that you live in. Boom! To knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Now is the time to learn to grow food, wild harvest, be self-sufficient. Yes, unclick from the empire model that is about to collapse before your very lives. We love each and every one of you, our Patreons, our one-time donors, our seed savers, our haters. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. We love you. And that's a boom. Be safe. Na -na 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 -na.